Hey guys, it's Scott Clark with Scooter Media, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Samsung T5 and T7 SSD drives with a phone. I'm gonna show you how to connect the phone to the drives, I'm gonna show you how to transfer the files back and forth, and then we're gonna do a quick little speed test to see how fast everything works. Let's get into it. For today's video, I am gonna be using my Samsung S9 Plus to connect to the Samsung T5 for the first example. And in order to connect the drive, we need our USB-C to USB-C cable that did come with the drive. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect one end into the drive, and then the other end is gonna go into our phone. Just like that. Once the drive is connected to the phone, you'll see a little icon at the very top of your phone that shows a USB connection. And if you scroll down from the top, you'll see in the settings section here, it says Samsung USB drive, tap here to transfer media files. If for some reason you don't see that and you have a slightly older phone than this, you may need to go into the settings menu and search OTG connection. Once you do find OTG connection, just enable that and that will allow the phone to detect the drive when you plug it in. But for our case, it automatically detected it. So I'm gonna tap here to transfer media files. And now that we've tapped there, you can see that inside my USB storage, which is the drive, we just got like a recycle bin, Android because it's connected to the phone and some system volume information. That is just stuff that's generated by the drive itself. The only actual file on here is a video file that I've put on here. And that file is actually 10.37 gigs. So that's a fairly large file. So what I wanna do now is I'm gonna transfer that file onto the phone and kind of do a little bit of a speed test. And we'll do that with the T5 first. And like I did say, this is a 10.37 gigabyte file. So it's very large. But maybe what we'll do is we'll transfer it, we'll time it, and then we'll just see how long it does take to transfer that file. So in order for us to move the video file from the drive onto the phone, we physically have to just hold down that video file. It's gonna bring up the options at the bottom. Then we're gonna hit move. And then we just navigate to where we wanna put this file. So I'm gonna put it in the internal storage. I'm gonna actually put it in the camera with the rest of my um, files. And before we hit move here, I'm just gonna bring over my little stopwatch here so that we have a timer. And again, before we do this, I just wanna preface this with, again, this is a Samsung S9 Plus phone. It's slightly older, it's about three or four years old. I assume with a newer phone with a little bit more processing power, you are gonna get a faster transfer speed. Um, however, I did uh, format the drive, so the only file on there was just that file. And let's see. So we'll just hit the move here button and the start button at the same time and see how long it takes. I am gonna fast forward this a little bit just to speed up the video so we don't have to sit here and watch this timer the whole time. Okay, the file is just finished transferring over to the phone and that 10.37 gigabyte video file took one minute and 32 seconds to transfer from the Samsung T5 to the phone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put that same video file back on the drive from the phone, just to see if there's any difference in the transfer speed going the other way. So I'm gonna reset my clock here. So I have to remember 132 for the T5. So I'm gonna hold that down. We're gonna hit move. We're then again gonna navigate to our USB storage which is back here again. And then again, now that we're ready, we're gonna hit move here and the start button again, just to see if it's the same time to go now from the phone back onto the drive. So here we go. And again, guys, I am gonna fast forward this so we don't have to sit here and watch the whole time go by. Okay, so that file has now gone back onto the drive from the phone and that only took 46 seconds. So it was definitely quicker going from the phone to the drive than from the drive to the phone. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the exact same test with the exact same file, but I'm gonna use the T7 drive. And we'll just see how much faster the T7 is versus the T5. Okay, and again, hooking up the T7 is the exact same thing. We got our USB-C into the drive, our USB-C into the phone. And then we just wait for the pop-up to show our connection. And there it is. So again, we'll hit Samsung USB drive. That brings us into our file. We'll bring in our timer here again. We hold down our file to move it. And we're gonna move it to our phone. 
So we got to navigate to internal storage. And again, I'm going to put this onto the camera of my, oops, I went to the wrong spot. So where is the camera right there, right there. Okay. So we're ready to go. We're going to hit start and move here at the same time and see how fast this goes. And again, I will fast forward this part. Okay guys, so interesting. The file has just transferred from the drive onto the phone and that took two minutes and 11 seconds. I have no idea why the T7 would take longer than the T5. It doesn't make any sense to me. It should definitely be quicker. Um, but what we'll do is we'll try and transfer it now back from the phone back onto the drive like we did with the T5 and just see what the difference in speed is there and time. So we'll X that, go back into our file here. We're gonna hold that down. We're gonna move it back to our USB drive, which is right here. Okay, and we'll see how fast or long it takes to get from the phone back onto the drive. And here we go. Okay, and for that same file to go back onto the drive from the phone took 45 seconds. So it is definitely faster going from the phone back onto the drive than it is from the drive back onto the phone. Okay, we've gone over how to connect our drive to the phone. We've moved files from the drive to the phone and from the phone back to the drive. We've also done a speed test with the T5 and T7, which generated some interesting results with the T7 somehow taking longer than the T5, which I don't really understand. Um, it should be a lot quicker, but for some reason it wasn't. I don't know if it has anything to do with the T5 being a two gigabyte drive and the T7 being a one gigabyte drive, but at any rate, we did the test. We saw that the Samsung T5, for some reason, was faster than the T7 with the phone. In general, when I use these with the computer, it's definitely the opposite, and the T7 is definitely faster than the T5. You can also use the T7 and T5 with an iPhone. However, you will need some sort of an adapter just because the iPhone does not use USB-C as a connection. If you found value in this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing as it really does make a difference. And I'd love to have you join me on this YouTube journey. Also be sure to hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the videos coming out on this channel. I recently put out a video reviewing the Samsung T5 and T7. And if you're interested in checking that out, please click the link here. Thanks for watching today's video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.